There are two kind of fundamental development philosophies. People who plan up front to decide exactly what something is going to become, and then they step by step make it happen. And people who figure out what is needed by solving the tough challenges first, and then incrementally developing. So the Mark Set Bot is done in the latter fashion. And so what we did very quickly, I think it took less than a month for the first very basic unit to actually function. And then it has taken three years to get all of these core features in there, but we proved that the concept could work. And then we added in the next feature that was needed in the next feature. And so you take these bytes and you solve the impossible stuff up front and then you fill in the rest afterwards when it's needed. And so if you go with the traditional approach, you might have spent two years designing each component to only start making it in year three or four, opposed to having a viable product quickly and then expanding from there. The reason we develop that way is you don't know what you don't know until you get into it. And so by going this way, you start to learn the things that it needs to do and you make the simplest features, which you know everybody's gonna need, and then you figure out the next more complex feature that somebody needs, and the next, and the next, and the next. And so it comes together as a product where we're on release 280, and every one of those releases has worked. We've added in that many new features along the way that people have asked for. develop a lot of our own software and then we've integrated with people as well. So what we see as successful is not reinventing wheels. And so, for example, when we wanted to make a 360 degree camera add-on for our bot, we didn't build a 360 degree camera, we integrated with GoPro. And when we wanted to have a high-end wind sensor, we didn't figure out how to make a wind sensor. We bought one from Airmar, one of the key big names in the wind industry. So we have software that controls and pulls all of this together, but we have partnered with people who are good at making motors, people who are good at making GPSs, people who are good at making compasses, people who are good at making all of these things, and the magic of what we do is then pulling that all together quickly. So coming to market quickly and then making a product that's reliable because we've picked best in breed from all of these classes instead of trying to cobble together something that we don't know about yet, right?